So, you have a new puppy, and you're so excited, but you've got a minor problem. The puppy is fighting. You, your pants, your fingers, you are at the risk of losing your digits. Your stuffs are not safe. Anything that's left on the bed is being bitten, chewed, and torn to pieces. If you're a guardian facing these issues, then this video is for you. Hi guys, welcome to the Happy Puppers. I am Dr. Shruti Bhattacharya, author and owner of the Happy Puppers. And if you're someone who's facing the puppy biting issues, then this video is for you. In this video, we will be talking about 10 amazing tips to stop puppy biting. Now, before I get into the details, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and share this video out with others. It doesn't cost you a penny, and it will let so many dog guardians know how they can get rid of this deadly problem. Puppies are not called land sharks for no reason. Their teeth are coming out. They are very bitey. They don't know what to sink their teeth in, and your flesh is soft, and it looks amazing. So they sink their teeth in your flesh. I have been through that phase. I know it very well. My boy's use is five months old at the moment. You must have seen some other videos of his on this channel and he loves to bite. So every time he is uh, in that biting frenzy, I can figure out, okay, another of the teeth is coming out. And I use these steps to redirect him from me and my stuffs into the things that he can safely bite and chew and not hurt himself or me. So tip number one, redirect. If you've been going through dog vlogs, you must be already aware of this step. Redirection is a crucial part when you're trying to avoid puppy biting. Now, puppies' uh, attention span is very low, which is a good thing when they're biting because you can quickly distract them with a favorite toy. Now, the trick here is to not give them all the toys at once. Just give them one toy. Keep other toys separate so that the newness of the toy, the excitement that's associated with playing with a new toy, stays. So, redirect your puppy with one toy. If your puppy gets bored of that toy and comes to bite you again, redirect him with another toy and keep that first toy back in the box. So that the first toy is not in the visual eyes, visual sight of your puppy. And when you present it again after some time, it will still have that newness about it. Point number two. You can play tug of war. Zeus loves to play tug of war. He's like discovered it a week back. And now every day I have to spend two hours playing tug of war with him. But remember to be gentle. Those teeth are very fresh. They are still coming out. Yeah, it may seem like your puppy has turned into a monster while playing tug of war. But as the guardian, it's your responsibility to be soft, calm, patient with your puppy and avoid any kind of rough play that may damage the inside of your puppy's mouth. So if your puppy is pulling a lot, let him take it. If he's coming, just play for like a few minutes and leave it. So let your puppy or you can again redirect your puppy with another toy that is more safer and does not involve you to be a part so that there is no rough play. Whichever way you want, you can deal with this but do not um, do not indulge in any kind of rough playing with your puppy point number three always use positive reinforcements when you redirect your puppy with something else offer a treat oh you're playing with this toy good here's a treat for you your puppy will learn oh if i play with this toy more i'll get more treats so maybe I, this is a behavior that is i should engage in this is how positive reinforcement works and that is the only method i will recommend for you to use while training your puppy out of the puppy biting phase Point number four, socialize. Now, if you rescued your pup when he was very young, like uh, Zeus was rescued when he was around 10 days old, uh, Delta was rescued within four to five days of him being born because uh, in both their cases, their mothers abandoned them. So again, both of my boys didn't have much of an interaction with their siblings because they were rescued too soon. So with Delta, it took me a while to get him to socialize with others. Zeus is much more friendlier than Delta, so he already has six to seven dog friends. The reason why you need to socialize is, but first, 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 first thing, before you start socializing, make sure that your puppy has had rabies vaccination and the primary vaccinations that your puppy needs during the puppyhood stages, which will be parovirus, canine distemper virus, and even COVID, and a multitude of others. Usually they come in 9-in-1, 12-in-1 combinatory vaccines you can get them done at once once the vaccination period of the puppy stage is over only then allow your puppy to go to dog parks and socialize with other pups now when your puppy socializes he might have a biting behavior but when he goes to bite other dogs 
they will warn him off. They might even scold him for that. And that scolding will get in your puppy's head much faster than your scolding. Because he is tuned to the dog body language. He's not very tuned to the human body language yet. So take your puppy with other dogs. And when they scold him, they go like, <laughs> they, like they snap at him. They warn him. Okay, this is not a behavior you should engage in. So he learns. Okay, this behavior is not encouraged. So maybe I shouldn't do that even at home. Point number five, exercise your puppy. The primary reason, or at least in most cases, if your puppy is not teething, not in the teething phase right now, and is still being a land monster, that is because your puppy doesn't, didn't get enough physical and mental stimulation. Now to provide him physical stimulation, you can take him on walks, runs, hikes. To provide him mental stimulation, you can use those uh, mental toy games where they hide the treat and the puppy has to find it. You can use Kong where the puppy has to, you know, move it and then get the treat out and then eat it. These are factors that exercise their brain. You can also make homemade dog toys. I have a few on the channel. I will link them down in the description. So you can use homemade dog toys to distract your puppy. Whichever way you use. I usually do a find the treat toy kind of thing. I'll take a long cloth. I'll put a few treats in it, roll it up, tie it up at a few places. So I've got this string where which has treats, 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 treats. And I'll give it to Zeus. And he will stay busy for like a few hours while he tries to take the treat out. Usually, But right now his teeth is very sharp. So he can just tear the cloth, get to the treat. But if your puppy doesn't have a teeth as sharp as Zeus or if you can use a... A material that's thicker like a jeans material i was using a cloth that was already very thin so he tore it right up and i had thought that he would be busy for a few hours you can give them frozen treats because that will take time to melt so they have to stay busy with it and to get to the treat they have to work that is mental exercise and that will tire your puppy out faster than physical exercise so give these a try Point number six, use bitter sprays. If your puppy is a fan of chewing your table, your bed post, your bed corners, or anything wooden that your puppy finds, you can use bitter sprays that are specifically meant for puppies. These do not contain chemicals that will harm your puppy, but it will protect your items because when your puppy tries to chew at it, it will give off a very bitter taste, which will tell the puppy to not chew on this because it doesn't taste good. Point number seven, focus on teaching bite inhibition. When your puppy comes to bite, you, by your puppy's body language, know that this is what he's going to do now. Now, before your puppy bites, you say no. And your puppy gets distracted and looks at you, huh, what? And then maybe he'll forget biting. Maybe he will remember that he came to bite and he will try biting again. Again, you say no. The moment your puppy focuses on something else, you offer him a treat. Okay, so I was not supposed to do. If I don't do that, I get a treat. So I shouldn't do that. That is how your puppy establishes the information. You're using a positive reinforcement. You're not hurting your puppy. And you're also teaching him bite inhibition. Point number eight. Um, suppose you tried all of it. It's not working out. Your puppy is still being a land shark. Then you can give your puppy time out. For puppies, time out shouldn't be like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. No way. It should result. It should be from 5 seconds to the max of 60 seconds not more than that try giving your puppy a five second timeout just ask him to stay at a place no no moving you can put him in his crate for five seconds but i'd suggest don't use the crate because you don't want the crate to be associated with something negative so just at a corner of the wall or just keeping him away from his siblings for five seconds or holding him in the air jail all of that would work point number nine Stay consistent in what you're trying to teach. Consistency is key when it comes to training dogs. If you're telling your puppy no, you tell him no every damn time. It cannot be like, okay, I'm too tired today. Don't have the energy to tell him no. Ha, ah, let him chew. Sorry, that is not acceptable. You have to tell your puppy no every time so that the information in your puppy's brain gets converted from the short term to the long term one and your puppy knows, okay, these are the things I am not allowed to chew. Point number 10, patience. You may be a working individual, you love dogs, you got a dog and now you have a land shark instead of a dog who is supposed to be sweet, cuddly and not bite your face off. But the only way you are getting through this phase is by being patient. If you try to hit your puppy, if you try to threaten your puppy, if you try to 
you know use the nose paper newspaper on the nose kind of trick and stuff like that or using a prong collar or a a type of collar that's gonna hurt your puppy it will turn your puppy aggressive and once that puppy grows up you will not know where that sweet natured boy or girl went what you will have will be someone who's fearful of you and as a result is displaying tons of aggression towards you that is not the way to bond with your puppy so you have to maintain patience you have to say no and when your puppy does follow your instruction you have to reward the treat reward the behavior with a treat so you have to focus on all of these you have to stay patient there is a no other way when it comes to training a puppy now these are 10 crucial steps to stop puppy biting let me know which of these you have used before which of these didn't work for you which of these did work or if you have any other suggestions please put them down in the comment section so that others can also know and get help from it I will see you in my next video. If you want to check out the article, the link will be in the description. The homemade dog toys link will be in the description. So have a look at all of those. Try these out. These are bound to help you raise a healthy and happy puppy who does not display aggression. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care and have a lovely time with your dog.